Hey everybody, Antony here with an album review of Charlotte Church Enchantment, which was released on October 9, 2001. The conductors were C.N. Edwards and Ron Huff, along with the Philharmonia Orchestra of London, and joining Charlotte Church were guitarist Jesse Cook and bear tenor Josh Groven. I basically encountered this album back in Boxing Day 2001, and I was quite curious of what Enchantment had to offer. That was until I started listening to it, and I was quite blown away with how Charlotte Church's voice grew. It grew quite fuller for someone who was still 15 years old at the time, and it gained in richness, although it still had that youthful timbre. What made this album stand out was how ambitious Charlotte Church's song repertoire was at the time. Not only did it include Celtic melodies like Carrick Fergus and The Water is Wide and The Lullaby, all the pretty little horses, and even her classical material like the flower duet Dorme Pe from Leo Delibes Lacme, a remixed version of the Abanera La Mourette en Rebelle from Bizet's Carmen, and even the laughing song Mein Herr Marquis, sung in English as My Dear Marquis from Johann Strauss's Die Fledermaus, but also show tunes Tonight and Somewhere from West Side Story, Papa Can You Hear Me from Yentl, Bali High from South Pacific, A Bit of Earth from The Secret Garden, Can't Help Loving That Man from Showboat, If I Loved You from Carousel, and even some contemporary numbers like From My First Moment, which was based off of Eric Satie's Gymenopédie, and even The Prayer which was in turn based from the movie Quest for Camelot, which was originally sung by Andrea Bocelli and Celine Dion. And this time, she sings this particular song with Josh Groban. And I was quite impressed by this particular album, mostly because of just how versatile Charlotte Church was at the time. She not only used her classical operatic voice for some of the arias, but also used a more contemporary feel to her voice and a softer tone for some of the show tunes and even some of the folk songs. And what's also interesting about this album is that some releases include It's the Heart That Matters Most from the TV movie version of A Christmas Carol and even some releases include Elegie from Jules Massenet and even Trabodal, which is basically a traditional Welsh song. And just by listening to this album, Charlotte Church certainly proved herself to be a versatile singer, not only belting out the show tunes to the best of her abilities and not only singing all of these arias so well, considering that she was only 15 years old at the time, but also using a contemporary feel to her voice, evidenced in Carrick Fergus and even The Water is Wide. And this album kind of foreshadows the repertoire in which Charlotte Church would like to branch out to. And it's not just strictly classical, not even strictly pop, but also a mixture of all these different genres. Though four years after this album was released, she even released her first pop album, Tissues and Issues, which I kind of hope to review. And even one year after Enchantment, she released her best of album, Prelude, the best of Charlotte Church, which was basically her farewell to classical music. So Enchantment was essentially the first step into Charlotte Church kind of saying farewell to not only the voice of an angel, but also classical music in general. And with this particular album, it's an amalgamation of not only classical pieces, but also show tunes, folk music, and even some contemporary songs. And speaking of some of the classical numbers, I thought that her rendition of Mein Herr Marquis from Strauss's Die Fledermaus was actually quite solid. Yes, Charlotte Church is no lyric coloratura soprano, especially evidenced when some of her highest notes were rather thin, but they still sounded pretty much in tune. Despite the fact that the highest notes kind of lacked 
that blazing quality one would really love in lyric coloratura sopranos or even soprani acuti sfogati. I still have to give a fair amount of credit to Charlotte Church for even attempting to sing this particular operetta aria. I can definitely tell that she has been training to sing this particular aria with her voice teacher, and the results were quite solid. Sure, Charlotte Church is no coloratura soprano whatsoever, but the commitment which she gives to not only the laughing song, but also the remix version of Abanera and even the flower duet was actually quite commendable. And I thought that out of all her classical pieces, the flower duet in which she sang the duet by herself was the absolute standout. It showed just how beautiful her voice really was, whether she sang the soprano part of Lakme or the mezzo part of Malika, and she managed to use her flexible voice quite well. She managed to play off the soprano and mezzo parts quite effectively, and when it came to the other tracks, I thought that her Broadway musical number interpretations were equally well done. I especially love her renditions of both Tonight and Somewhere from West Side Story, If I Loved You from Carousel, and of course, can't help loving that man. And she was able to sing that number so effectively. And of course, who can ever forget about her rendition of Papa Can You Hear Me, in which she was able to bring in a sense of poignancy to this particular song. And lest I forget about her duet with Josh Groban, The Prayer. And speaking of Josh Groban, I thought that he was a fine compliment to Charlotte Church. His tall and handsome voice, which had that focused quality, certainly made him stand out. And when you combine Josh Groban's elegant and fine and classy baritone voice to Charlotte Church's youthful and lovely soprano voice, then it is a combination which is, in essence, so effective. So overall, Enchantment was definitely the most ambitious album Charlotte Church ever recorded. With an ever-broadening repertoire, not only consisting of classical songs and arias, but also Broadway show tunes and even folk music, this is definitely a must-listen if you are a Charlotte Church fan. With that said, I give this album a well-deserved 4.5 out of 5 stars. It is definitely a must-listen, and also Charlotte Church's most ambitious album of all time. With an ever-broadening repertoire, some equally fine performances from not only Josh Groban, but also Jesse Cook, and even the two conductors, C.N. Edwards and Ron Huff, leading the orchestra very well, and it was just an overall fine package from beginning to end. I would also love to recommend Charlotte Church Enchantment live from Cardiff, Wales, which was recorded in St. David's Hall along with conductor Arnie Roth. And returning as Charlotte Church's guest artists were the guitarist Jesse Cook and the bear tenor Josh Groban. This concert was released one month before the Enchantment album, and this was definitely an overall fine experience. The concert started off with the overture to West Side Story before Charlotte Church entered the stage looking very lovely in a white floral gown singing tonight as her opener. Speaking of that gown, not only did Charlotte Church have one wardrobe change, but also a total of four. She sang Tonight, If I Loved You, The Water Is Wide, Bally High, and Carrick Fergus in that white, bejeweled, and absolutely gorgeous floral dress. And when she sang Can't Help Lovin' Dat Man, A Bit of Earth, Somewhere, as a duet with Josh Groban, Syogan, and My Lagan Love, and even The Prayer, also with Josh Groban, she wore a black blouse and black pants and even black high-heeled shoes. And before Charlotte Church re-entered the stage 
in a red dress and red shoes and her hair in a bun, the overture to Carmen was being played by the orchestra headed by Maestro Arnie Roth's fine hands. And once Charlotte Church re-entered the stage with her red dress, she sang all the pretty little horses from My First Moment and the remix version of Abanera. And she even did the flamenco during the Abanera. And I thought that she was absolutely awesome in terms of the way she danced. I don't know who choreographed her or if she choreographed herself, but this was definitely an amazing job that Charlotte Church did dancing the flamenco during the abanera. She was absolutely on fire when she did the flamenco. I can tell she enjoyed herself when she did the flamenco and I can definitely see the charisma and the charm in not only her eyes, but also her movements. And she definitely proved herself to be very versatile. The final dress Charlotte Church wore before the concert ended was a simple black dress, black leggings, and of course her hair still in a bun, and of course black shoes. And she sang, Papa Can You Hear Me, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Imagine, and Amazing Grace to cap off everything. What's so great about this concert is that it not only included some of the songs which she sang from her album, but also some oldies which she recorded back as a 12-year-old, like Syogan, My Lag in Love, and Amazing Grace, and even a couple of songs which should have been added to the album, which were Bridge Over Troubled Water and Imagine. And in terms of Imagine, she even dedicated this song to all the victims of 9-11. And this was definitely a fitting song to give people hope and to give people a sense of unity and even to give people a sense that despite all the dark moments that they've had to go through, there is a silver lining somewhere. And of course, going into somewhere, I thought that Josh Groban's and Charlotte Church's duet of this particular musical number was very well done. The way their voices blended was so superb and they just managed to have great vocal chemistry. And let's not forget about Jesse Cook's superb guitar playing, not only in this particular concert, but also on the album. He was so nuanced when he played the guitar and he definitely made sure that Charlotte Church not only followed his lead, but also worked together as a sort of synergy. The DVD of this concert also includes some special features, like the behind the scenes look of Charlotte Church's new album Enchantment, and of course, how she feels about this particular project, and of course, what she is as a 15 year old girl at the time. And I thought that this behind the scenes look was an absolute enjoyable one. Equally great was the other special feature in which Charlotte Church showed us Cardiff and just by watching Charlotte Church introduce all the sights and all the sounds of her hometown was just so amazing. It makes me want to go to Cardiff and who knows maybe want to live there. The way she was able to show some of the historical sites and the way she was able to present herself was I thought so so lovely and in her words absolutely lush so overall i also have to recommend charlotte church enchantment live from cardiff wales this is definitely a great addition and i have to give this a well-deserved 4.5 out of 5 stars it is a definite must watch and listen whether you're a fan of charlotte church or a fan of classical crossover singing then this is definitely something that you are going to enjoy. And for those of you who not only listened to Charlotte Church Enchantment, but also watched and listened to Charlotte Church Enchantment live from Cardiff, Wales, what'd you think of it? Was there a particular song that stood out to you so much? Did you feel like Charlotte Church's career was growing so well? Or did you feel like there was something that just didn't really hold up? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow where I review 
Christina Johnson's album, Blessing. So until then, good night, everybody, and happy holidays.